Graphic artist Judy Neosi recalls the scariest drive of her life. My heart started pounding and I, forcefully to the point where I thought, you know, my chest was going to explode. I had the constant thoughts that I would, that I was going to die. After visiting a doctor, she was diagnosed with panic disorder, which brings bouts of intense fear that seem to come out of nowhere. Panic disorder can lead to depression if left untreated. Medications can significantly curtail attacks. Psychiatrist Alexander Neumeister used brain imaging to study people with and without panic disorder. He looked at brain molecules called receptors that control the amount of a brain chemical, serotonin, that's known to affect mood. He wrote in the Journal of Neuroscience that people with panic disorder have fewer of those receptors. What we found in the brain of people with panic disorder is that they have a reduction of about 30 percent, which is a dramatic reduction, in the number of receptors compared to people who do not have panic disorder. He says that deficiency makes the brain more vulnerable to anxiety. Psychiatrist Eric Hollander says that imaging studies like Neumeister's could offer doctors better ways to treat patients. Well, one of the nice things about new imaging modalities that can tell us how sensitive specific serotonin receptors are in the brain in particular individuals is that ultimately this will help us tailor our treatments. And that might mean fewer bouts of recurring fear for patients like Neosi. I'm Karen Lurie.